Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Capricorns from the 12th through the 18th of March. The cards that I'll be using are going to be my Cosmic Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using Learning Tarot cards. So Capricorn, let's see what messages we have for you. So Capricorn, this is for you. The seven of Wands, whatever your challenges are, you're warding them off. You are the magician right now. Ooh. The Empress, abundance. Fertility. The Hangman. But you're to stand still. Why? You got a decision to make? The Queen of Wands. This is a fire energy. This could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. The Princess of Swords. Some kind of communication you're going to receive. The Queen of Cups. This could be an energy in your environment, which could be a, um, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. And the Judgment card. Whatever it is that you're going through, you're going to come out of. Okay? And then the Devil card. So the Devil is like just negative stuff. Jealousy, anger, obsession. It could be addiction. It could be drugs, alcohol, food. Um, <clears throat> it could be just need, needing to heal from um, the past. So it could be many things, okay? So however that resonates, we're going to see if we can clarify it a little bit. So on top of the seven, seven of Wands, I got the Fool, which signifies a new beginning, and the Hermit, which signifies that you probably went within and you did some soul searching, so you can find that new beginning. And when you did that, you became the Magician. Is that right? You're um, doing some self-reflection. Or you might be starting to become spiritually enlightened. On top of the magician comes the six of um, pentacles, which is... That's the fool and the hermit. Above the seven of wands. You got the six of pentacles, which is balance, giving and receiving, being very generous. And the four of wands, which um, would symbolize like celebration, family, some kind of reunion or something like that. But whatever it is, it's maybe you're celebrating how magical you are. And the empress. On 
on top of the empress comes the high priestess. You need to use your intuition. Because you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. Some kind of choice. You're going to have to trust yourself to make that choice. Okay? You got a path. You got two paths. You could choose either one. But you got to figure that out for yourself. And right now you're at a standstill. The hangman. And on top of the hangman, I got the five of um five of wands and the knight of swords. Conflict and something coming very fast. A possible message. Big changes coming very, very fast. And it also could be a warning about moving too hasty. Okay, just take your time. Look at the situation. Don't just rush into something. And the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> On top of the Queen of Wands came the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun card. You're able to take care of your family. You're financially stable and you're able to take care of your family. You have enough. And with that, you have a whole lot of happiness. And it might have something to do with the Queen of Wands, who is a Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius. So let's see what the Princess of Swords is talking about. The eight, of so, um, the eight of Wands and the King of Wands. This is a fire energy. There's some kind of fire energy in your environment here. This is a Leo. Um, a Leo. A Aries or a Sagittarius. This communication is going to be from this person. This communication is going to come very fast. It's going to come from a fire energy. That's what I'm going to say. You're going to have some communication. Some communication that might make you feel sensitive. But don't go and revert to old habits now. Uh, the communication is going to make you feel sensitive because you're going to feel defeated and you're going to want to surrender. You're going to want to walk away. But darling, don't do that. I mean, if you want to walk away from an individual, fine. Um, but you will be fine financially. You you know, I mean, you got the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, you got the Nine of Pentacles here also. Um, which shows that you will be independent or you are independent. and You're financially stable. So the Five of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So you're, you're a little sensitive, or again, that could be an energy which would be um, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer in your environment. And the Judgment card. Whatever you're going through, you're going to come out of. Whatever this feeling is, you're going to come out of. It's part of life, you know, life goes a little up and down. Just don't stay in the downs too long, you know. Don't stay there too long. So, on top of the judgment card comes the temperance. And the ace of wands. So, be patient, my loves. A new beginning is coming. A new beginning. Good news. New beginning. You know what I mean? Things happen and they come a little bumpy sometimes and then they smooth out and it's a little bumpy again, you know, but it's how you handle the bumps, the low bumps, you know, not the high, you know. It's the... Something someone told me a while back was like, and they said, you know, when something good happens in your life, don't be like over ecstatic, you know, just be like, acknowledge it, you know, hey, thank you. Okay, cool. 
Um, just be neutral. But be grateful, of course, if somebody has done something for you. And he said that um, the reason for that is that when the lows come, it's not going to feel as bad. Or if you stay neutral, then you wouldn't have to experience so ma as many lows. I hope that made sense. So there's a new beginning coming for you. Good news is coming and you just need to have patience, okay? However, you know, you got this little, this, this, this devil here. Um, and on top of that comes the hangman. The hangman says it's time for a sacred pause. Stillness grants perspective. So you got the hangman on top of the devil. And you got the chariot. You're going to overcome whatever it is that you're going through where this is concerned. Okay? The chariot says victory, overcoming obstacles. This could be an abusive relationship. This could be, like I said, an addiction. This could be jealousy, obsession, all these negative dark feelings. But it says victory. Overcoming obstacles and success. So, darling, and here I go again. <laughs> um, you will be just fine. Whatever that little issue is going to be, you're going to overcome it. All right? I love you guys. You take care of yourselves, okay? And I will see you soon. Love you.